Hey Church, we're in our lessons on relationship and today we're going to be talking about Paul, the Apostle Paul and Timothy. Let me read you from Acts chapter 16, just the first five verses. It reads like this. Paul came to Derby and then to Lystra, where a disciple named Timothy lived, whose mother was Jewish and a believer, but whose father was a Greek. The believers at Lystra and Iconium spoke well of him. Paul wanted to take him along on the journey, so he circumcised him because of the Jews who lived in that area, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. And as they travelled from town to town, they delivered the decisions reached by the apostles and elders in Jerusalem for the people to obey. So the churches were strengthened in the faith and grew daily in numbers. If we're looking at a descriptor for the relationship between Paul and Timothy, it is Paul himself who provides it in 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 2. He says this to Timothy, my true son in the faith, grace, mercy and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. It's a powerful statement as Paul is not only talking to Timothy the minister, but he's talking to Timothy the man. And Timothy could not become the minister unless he first became the man. Whatever you feel God is asking you to do with your life, it begins in the character of you the woman or you the man, which leads to the life God purposed you for. Timothy, as we've read, has a rich history in faith, with many of his family having become followers of Jesus. Paul writing again in 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 5, I'm reminded of your sincere faith, which first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice. And I am persuaded now lives in you also. Thank God for praying family, our mothers and fathers, grandparents, aunts and uncles who hold up other family members before the Lord in prayer. For those believing for children or grandchildren or parents and grandparents to come to the Lord, we're standing with you as a church, believing with you that Jesus will speak to them and that they will have a supernatural encounter with him. Paul has seen in Timothy something of the call of God to lead a church when he first encounters him in Lystra on this missionary journey. And with permission of family and church leadership, invites Timothy to join him on the journey. It'd be easy to skip to the end of the story. Timothy becomes the senior pastor of the church in Ephesus, a church that grew both in its numerical size and influence in the wider Christian world. But the end of the story is not the key. The key is that Paul invited him to join him on the journey. Real relationship is not about an agreed destination, but it's about who we become on the journeys we go on. Timothy had all the potential in him to become a great leader, but he needed Paul to draw out that potential and cause it to become a reality through the journey they went on. We all need to be a Timothy with someone who loves us and is committed to helping us grow in our lives. And we all need to have a Timothy, a person in whom we see potential that we're choosing to sow our lives into. May God bless us today as we think about his word and apply it into our lives. Amen.